Brian Yoder, and I'm the proud choir director at Bonita High School, the greatest high school on earth. We are so glad you're here with us. Um, as we talk to the kids before every performance that we have, uh, and we really want you to be aware that every time we sing for you, we not only want it to be a performance, but an experience. So I invite you here in for a great treat tonight, all these students. I honestly think they represent the best and brightest of Benita, and you're going to get a taste of that tonight. So I allow the music to wash over you um, as we welcome our first group, Corral. Enjoy Shaboom. 
So that was Corral. That's where our students, primarily freshmen and sophomores, start off. And we're about to bring out our men's choir. We've got a little bit of time for them to get off. So um, last year, raise your hand if you were at our pop show last year. Anybody in the audience? Great to see you all. So I had some emails and some parents make comments to me about, you know, last year at the pop show, you had us all raise money with our minute to win and everybody ran in there. And I did not unveil how much we raised last year. And I know people were really upset about that. So I tonight was looking in my jacket and hopefully I can find it now. And I have from last year, all right, this is what we raised for our students last year at the pop show, $1,923.03. So. And that's a huge thank you to you for giving back to these students. And because of that giving, we were able to buy brand new choir folders for Corral and also for our chamber singers. And so that's something to celebrate, absolutely. Well, you guys clean up nicely. All right. about to leave the stage, I know. Um, but I'd like to welcome to the stage, this year we're really lucky um, to be having a student teacher from Cal State University Long Beach, uh, Mr. Jacob Hesse. Why don't you come on out here? And he's been working primarily with Corral Women's Choir and Men's Choir, and he's going to be directing this next song with the Men's Choir. Thank you, Mr. Hesse.
Let's give him another round of applause. We truly are blessed. Something you will notice tonight, um, if you've come to our conscious in the past, we are growing. Lots of exciting things happening in the choir program. We are now up to 200 students in the Benita High School Choral Music Program. I did the math and I think that means one in every 10 students at Benita High School is in choir. Isn't that something to celebrate? Behind me is the women's choir, which you heard previously was our men's choir. Both groups are comprised of mostly our sophomores. And this is where they usually come in their second year in choir. Just a quick reminder, let's save our applause for the end and we'll celebrate everybody in the group, all right? Sounds like a good deal? All right, thank you everyone. not an easy piece, I will tell you that. <laughs> but I think that's, how many of you is that your favorite piece of the songs that we've done? Raise your hand. A lot of you. And if you ask a lot of other students, they all had a chance to listen to all the other groups, and this, that was a popular one. Kind of hard to understand what it's about, but it's a good song nonetheless. <laughs> this next song, though, I do know something about. Um, you're going to hear two songs tonight that are based on the same text um, from the book of Deuteronomy. And they have completely different perspectives that they come about this text from. Um, but I really like this, group, this, this piece for this group specifically because, in all honesty, high school is really hard. It's hard to be a teenager right now. And this song really projects the importance of unity. And one of the lines specifically says, when we're hurting one another, that's when we hurt ourselves. And the importance on everything that we do affects everyone around us. And I love this group specifically because it's so nice that we have all different walks of campus that come together and form this awesome bond, and we're going to sing that for you in We Are One.
What a fantastic group. Concert choir. Now, you may, if you've come to our concerts again, last year some, a lot of changes have been happening. This group last year, we had no guys. And it is so nice to have guys back in this group, am I right? Don't let their heads get too big, all right? Okay, but that was really good. So this group, along with um, the chamber singers that you're gonna be hearing after them, are excited for a very great opportunity that we're having in the spring. I know it's a real hard sell for them all, but they're actually gonna be on a plane in March, headed out to Hawaii on a performance tour. But we've got to make it to them, so that's the other the hard factor. But we are excited, we are excited, excited, excited for that trip. And so some of the pieces we're working on tonight, we're going to be singing it next year. And just a lot of great things happening for this group and for the chamber singers as well. This is Kumbaya. Ajo, are you going to play that thing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you got a triangle too? Why don't you give them a preview? And I won't forget the shaker, too. I'm sorry, we got a shaker, too. You can shake a little, too. All right. And that last song was called Three Shaker Songs. Who knew? There you go. We're setting them up. All right. Kumbaya. Salute, isn't it? All right. So this next piece, we're really excited to be sharing with you. Um, we we want to take a moment to honor um, any active or retired uh, military members in the audience. Um, so you may not know this, or you may do know this, um, but each branch of the military has their own song. 
And my dad was a career Navy man, and he still knows the Navy song. He can sing it in his sleep because he had to learn it at boot camp. So in a second, the choir is going to start, and you're actually going to see the different seals of the Navy branch. And we would ask if you are a retired military member or a current a military member or a family of a military me member, we would love for you to stand and us as an audience would like to applaud and acknowledge you, all right? Sound good? All right. applauding again all of our armed services. So on that Hawaii trip, um, we are going to have the privilege of singing at the Pearl Harbor Memorial. And so we're going to be learning some uh, Americana pieces. And that was their lab, that piece was their, their Americana piece. And when I bring out the chamber singers, they're going to start with their Americana piece, which is an arrangement by Derek Johnson of This Land is your land. So without further ado, I want to welcome on stage the award-winning Bonita High School Chamber Singers.
really nice work, guys. Really nice work. And you know, I was thinking as you guys were singing, how many of you have been in choir since elementary school on our choir? Raise your hand. Isn't that incredible? We are so lucky to be in Benita Unified School District where we have elementary through high school music, and this is truly a testament of that. As Patrick was singing and Trinity were singing, I remember when I, now this is my second year at Bonita, and I was looking at videos of Bonita choirs and getting excited about coming here, and I noticed that your guys, those of you who are seniors in here, your freshman year, you guys sang the song, Why We Sing, and both Patrick and Trinity had the solos on that. Isn't that cool? And now here they are. <laughs> Nothing's changed, right? All right. All right. Next is Saints Bound for Heaven. top of this thing, it's going to be an experience tonight, so we pulled a little trick on you there, so I uh, hope that was enjoyable for you. So um, this next piece is the second setting of uh, the passage in Deuteronomy. It's um, called the Shema. Um, this past spring, um, I attended a university um, spring concert, and um, this next piece was actually performed by the university choir, and it was an arrangement made of a senior music major at that university. Vanguard University, which is my alma mater for my undergrad. Um, and I heard the song and I thought, man, we have got to do that song. And so um, I contacted their choir director and we got a hold of that student and she said, you absolutely can sing it. Just get a good recording and enjoy all you want. Um, so this is a setting of a traditional Jewish prayer called the Shema, which in Judaism is many times said every single day. And um, we just want this to be a, a prayer washed over you. Um, this is Shema.
We call that surround sound. And I forgot my joke I was going to tell you. If you like a voice, smile at them. And if you don't like a voice, smile at them even bigger. All right? But we'll be coming out and singing for you a lot more this year as the hope. Get around you to get to hear kind of what I get to experience, which is nice. All right. Your guys' last song. Beulah Land. And now is the part where all the rest of the hundred and however many are going to flood the stage right now. And we're going to try to get them all on the risers, all right? While they do that, I have a few thank yous I'd like to get out while they're starting up. Um, we are, we, a lot goes into making tonight happen. And so I want to make sure we give credit where credit's due. Um, first, we have a lot of teachers and administrators that make it possible for them to do what they do. And we have some special teachers and our principal, Mr. Kenny Ritchie, in the audience. Let's give our administration and teachers a round of applause. Our parents really make this happen, and we have an incredible parent board. I'd like to give a round of applause to our president, Mrs. Tanya Chisaka, and all of our parent board and parent volunteers. We're so grateful to be in a district that truly supports the arts, and we not only are grateful for our super acting superintendent, but tonight we have a school board member, Mr. Jim Elliott. Can we give him a round of applause for joining us and supporting? I'm told that he's a former Bonita Choir parent, so we're glad to have welcomed him back. Um, special thanks to the BCA who allows us to come in here and use the space. Um, our new BCA theater manager, Melissa Stone, and the BCA crew. <laughs> 
If you really enjoyed tonight and you'd like to take these kids home, we are selling uh, DVDs and recordings of the performance. Great stocking stuffers. We'd really love for you guys to check those out. LVTV has provided that. Um, additionally, you'll notice on your way out, I know I talked about um, Hawaii, um, our Hawaii tour with concert choir and chamber singers, and I know I've been, had a lot of people reach out and say, how can we help? How can we help get these kids there? So um, you will notice some of these, probably in red dresses and red suits, um, will be out there with little jack lanterns and Hawaii lays. And if you feel it in your heart that you'd like to give to these kids' trip, um, they are collecting optional donations out there if you should choose to want to give, uh, but also feel free to contact me if you um, should want to support them. So enough about all that. We've got a great, great, great final number. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Let's give them all a round of applause. Man. A huge final thank you to you all. Um, I always say this to everyone, you guys are my 200 reasons to get up in the morning and, and spend time with you all and to hear you sing, it's just glorious and it's going to be a wonderful year. This is a great taste of what's to come. So, how good and pleasant it is when we dwell together in unity. Good.
sing a little more for you. Here we go.